everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 25th, 2016. The Deadpool of astronomers goes on and on. The list increases and the numbers are staggering. So I've researched and uncovered and filed this report. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been wanting to bring this story to you for quite a long time. And yesterday we were working on this, compiling some numbers and some statistics. And this is based on the astronomer Deadpool. Yes, I use the word dead because they are showing up and coming up dead in alarming numbers. Just going from 74 deaths to 125 in a matter of a few years. And let's face it, folks. <laughs> Astronomy is not a dangerous occupation if you choose that occupation as a profession. So how would it be deadly? It would be deadly if we were under the threat of a planetary object ripping through our solar system and possibly causing catastrophic damage to our beautiful Earth. If the government needed to shut you up, they would just basically threaten you and they would tell you you keep your mouth shut or else you're going to suffer the consequences and for these men and women they did suffer the consequences they paid for it with their life so on the other flip side of the coin you have these other astronomers or amateur astronomers that have taken it upon themselves to be on the flip side of the coin and work for the government and try to pass off disinformation. And this is going in many, many forms, publications, articles, uh, the threats on YouTube and things of that nature. However, the statistics and the stories are staggering. Now, if you were a construction worker working on high-rise office buildings, hundreds and hundreds of feet in the air, yes, you have a dangerous occupation. But that of an astronomer or a scientist should not be dangerous or life-threatening. However, it has become that over the years. And let's just get into a few articles. Right here, scientists, death list grows as Nibiru fear intensifies. Let's just take a little listen to the video. This is Cosmic News. Timeline is Sunday, the 7th of December, 2014. Welcome along, my friends, to another edition of Cosmic News. Coming up in this week's broadcast, another list of scientists who have been murdered or died under suspicious circumstances has been released. Are the controllers behind these killings and why? Plus... Planet X and the December 21st, 2012 CIA cover your ass timeline. To now, what he's talking about there is the whole entire 2012 doomsday prophecy was kind of a CIA operative psyop. They put it out there to scare the world and to see how they would react. So this list of dead astronomers is growing. There is one article after another in a very nice timeline. Like I said, uh, leading from 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, up to 125 scientists and astronomers dead in absolutely crazy ways. Murdered, suspicious accidents, dying of, of health issues that are so rare. It's incredible. And they were all on the forefront of discovering something or they had discovered something and they were going to publicize it. And they were silenced. Steve Quill has a fantastic article on his blog. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give all of the links to this in the description box under this video because I think that everyone needs to understand that these people can be silenced. They can get to them. 
and it's it's not hard. The governments of the world are very powerful. They will get to you. They have their own disinformationalists. They're employed. They're government employees. They're not going to risk the entire world population standing up against the government because we know that there is a rogue planet or a comet planet or another solar system moving into our solar system that's going to cause severe damage and upheaval to our beautiful Earth. We outnumber them, so they have to produce and form these campaigns. They had enough time to do this. They've had a long time, 30 years, to prepare. We are not being given the chance to prepare. Next, 74 NASA scientists died in recent years. No natural causes. Now, like I said, folks, being an astronomer is not a dangerous business. You don't need big muscles and a strong backbone to be an astronomer. You need some intelligence, but let's face it, it's not a dangerous business, but apparently it's very dangerous, very dangerous. And as you go on and on and on with these articles leading up to today, 125 astronomers dead. What's happening to them? Are they slipping and falling in the shower? No. They're being brutally murdered. Brutal accidents, plane crashes. One, one lady was bound, gagged, and set afire in her own basement. And she was on the forefront of research with cervical cancer. And someone burned her alive. Why? Because maybe big pharmacy, big pharmaceutical, government, the total manipulation of mankind on this earth? Do they put people out there to debunk the theory or the presence of Nibiru? You better believe it. So just because we're not seeing it in the sky, do not take the word of someone that is telling you it doesn't exist. It does exist. Just because we're not seeing it yet does not mean that you cannot prepare. Pre prepare for anything. Ladies and gentlemen, if you take a look at what is going on in this world right now, you cannot deny that there is upheaval in every single country. The world governments are preparing for something. And it's just not the United States election with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, because I think that election is its own PSYOP to take our attention off of the skies. And then you have the government disinformationalists. Their assignment is to take your thoughts away from what you are seeing, whether it be on YouTube or the internet or periodicals, whatever. The news media, they're not going to cover it. I dare any one of you to call your local news station and tell them about Planet X. They'll probably hang up on you. When you comment in their YouTube videos or on their internet websites about Planet X or Nibiru, they'll delete your comments. They'll ban your IP address. We tested it out. We're banned from CNN, Fox, and NBC. Unrelated, but we just typed those words in, and the comments were removed, and we were kicked out. They know better. Now, amateur astronomers are tens of thousands around the world. So the government can't shut them up. There's too many. 
So what do they do? Over the years, professional astronomers on the forefront of discovering things in space are murdered, killed, silenced. Do you think that information gets out in the world of astronomy? You bet your bottom dollar it does. So then those astronomers start to think, ooh, I better keep my mouth shut. I better just stick to gazing at the stars through my telescope. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not just bringing you a story that I am creating in theory. I'm bringing you facts. And we're going to be changing some of our format here at Nibiru Planet X 2016 because here is the bottom line. We can show all of the pictures and the videos from around the world all day long. The bottom line is it is time for awareness. It is time for us to start forming very serious opinions because in, in the end, and I have said this over and over again, whether you're living in the United States or you're living in another country, I don't care what you think about your country. Your country is not going to be there for you. They're not going to save your life in the event of a cataclysmic situation. They're going to leave you out in the cold. And if you continue to listen to the disinformationalists, the people that are trying to change your mind in the opposite way, they're going to cause you not to prepare and they're going to get you killed. And I'm not fear mongering here. I'm giving you cold hard facts. Do you think that your government is going to run to your front door and say, oh, oh, there's something coming in the sky. Let us save you. No, they're going to cover their butts. They're going to cover their rear ends and they're going to run to their bunkers. That's why that all governments have their bunkers. That's why you are seeing military movements around the world in all countries. Come on, folks. Let's open up your eyes. The two crazy debunkers that I have on my backside right now, they're doing everything they can to bring me down. Scotty's little YouTube channel with less than 30,000 subscribers. But guess what, folks? We're 30,000 strong. And with 30,000, we could multiply by word of mouth. They're eventually going to end up shutting the Internet down. That's going to be one of the first signs. They are going to cut the line of communication. What does that have to do with anything? Well, let's just think about it. There are hundreds of thousands of amateur astronomers out there in this world. How would they communicate with each other? Well, they need to show pictures. If they're going to communicate with an astronomer in San Francisco to an astronomer in New Zealand, they're going to do it by Internet to exchange photographs, videos of what they found. So what is going to happen? The Internet is going to be taken away from them. We've already seen it October 1st. The UN now controls the Internet. I see that we are having intermittent problems with communications with the Internet. A huge takedown on the east coast of the United States just this past week. So put the information together. Step by step, you are seeing a very well sought out plan by world governments to shut this down. How much time do we have left? I don't know. But I can feel it in my gut that things are coming to a head. We are reaching a pinnacle within this situation that we call Planet X. And something that no one can deny. Once again, as I have said, the ancient writings 
of the Chinese 4,000 years ago. The Torah, the Bible, the information documented in these ancient times bring us to our situation today. And if you can't see that and you cannot open your eyes to this, then don't prepare. Do not continue to seek information and knowledge. Because like I have said, knowledge is power. The more knowledge that we have about this situation, the better off that we're going to be in our preparations. I have prepared. I have prepared for two straight years. I feel that I'm ready, but for an event that we're going to face like this, how could you ever be prepared? You could be on your toes. You could understand what is possibly about to happen. The timeline, we're not that sure of because I'm not a scientist or a government agent. I don't have access to all of this big NASA stuff. But if I did, I would tell all of you and I would probably end up dead because I don't appreciate what is being done to us. Like I've said before, our blood, sweat, and tears and our hard work went into developing this world. Not the government, ours, humanity, man, woman, child. I don't care what they do to me. I don't care what they call me on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I don't care if you debunk every one of my videos. It doesn't matter. I have a fire burning inside of me to bring this message to the people that are following me. And I will be damned if I will be sh you know, shut down and silenced. So take a look at this information. Come to your own conclusions. I'm going to leave links to all of these articles. And how I found this information, I simply typed in Google, dead astronomers. And a wealth of information just poured in. Dead astronomers. Up to date, 125 astronomers dead. Dead. 